Well, folks, welcome to another Friday Fishing Forecast. If you're not familiar with our channel, my name is Todd Fouché. I'm the co-host along with my buddy, Chad Cloft. And we do a Friday Fishing Forecast every single Friday for the weekend. So it kind of helps you as a recreational angler go out and plan your day. And you can take these techniques and take this knowledge and put it together pretty much anywhere when it, when it involves salt water. So hopefully we can give you some information that would be helpful and um, that's why we do it we want to help you become a better fisherman so we have the weekend coming up saturday looks much better than sunday sunday looks like there's another front coming through the winds are supposed to increase quite a bit on sunday there's a chance of rain it's going to be in the 60s so if you're going to fish, I would highly recommend fishing on Saturday because with that front coming in, it should turn these fish on and they should put on the feed bag pretty good. We've had a couple of fronts come through here recently, so it has chilled the water some. The bait's going to be moving deeper, uh, so you might want to kind of make plans to catch bait in deeper water. Or you can fish with shrimp because these fish are, will trans, transition into eating crustaceans because the bait on the flats is disappearing so they've got to eat something so that's readily available but if you take the time and catch white bait greenbacks uh scaled sardines whatever you want to call them the fish love that as a protein in the winter time so i have caught more fish on white bait than i have on shrimp in the winter time but it's it takes some time to get bait and you have to have patience so let's go ahead and talk about the tides and salooners for this weekend and what we have in store. On Saturday, we have a high tide at 9.44 a.m. at a 1.62 foot. Then we have a low tide at 3.43 p.m. at a 0.62 foot. Then we have a high tide at 10.06 p.m. at a 1.92 foot. On Sunday, we have a high tide at 10.49 a.m. at a 1.61 foot. Then a low tide at 4.15 p.m. at a 0 0.80 foot. And then another high tide at 10.26 p.m. at a 2.08 foot. So as you can see, we have pretty decent tidal movement for the weekend. So uh, if you're looking to fish the flats, there should be some really good fish. I've seen some really good reports of some big trout being caught, uh, snooker being caught, redfish I've heard have been in, on and off, on and off, on and off. And I know for a fact the grouper bite has been unbelievable. Now remember that those snapper like to transition into eating crustaceans when it starts to get cooler. And I think that's exactly what's happening because I see some people catching snapper and some people not catching snapper. And the people that are catching snapper are using shrimp and crabs. The people are, that aren't, and they're still targeting them, they're using a lot of live bait like greenbacks or pinfish. So if you want to target, <clears throat> excuse me, if you want to target snapper, then I would highly look at using shrimp or crabs like fiddler crabs or mangrove crabs, things like that. Now we have Thanksgiving coming up this week and I know a lot of you will take some time off to go do some fishing. Uh, the weather is kind of eh, all over the place right now, <laughs> at least the first part of the week. The last part of the week looks better. So let's go ahead and get into the, the major and minor feeding times for this weekend. On Saturday we have a major feeding time from 7.47 a.m. to 9.47 a.m. Then we have a minor feeding time from 2.29 p.m. to 3.29 p.m. And on Sunday, we have a major feeding time from 8.31 a.m. to 10.31 a.m. Then we have a minor feeding time from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. All right, folks, that wraps up the tides and salooners for this weekend. And like I said, Saturday looks to be the better of the day for the weekend. Sunday looks like it's going to blow pretty good and that front's coming in. So I think Saturday's going to be pretty good. The wind's going to be up just a little bit, but you can definitely get into some fishing. You can get into some protected areas. I think Chad and I are going to fish inshore. Uh, in the bay with my grandson Finn he's coming over for the weekend so looking forward to that I don't want to take him out if it was just me and Chad we might we might stick our head out but I don't want to put him through I don't want to put Finn through that the you know two and a half three footer so we'll stick in the bay and and I know that the fish are eating very well in the bay so I'm not worried about finding fish there um, if you haven't subscribed to our website please do because you will get email notifications and no we do not spam you but like for instance, we have a Black Friday sale coming up and you will get the email first and have a chance to get in first and put in your order before we announce it publicly. So be sure to sign up at uh, tampabayfishingchannel.com. 
you can sign up and we send you emails when we release a new product or if we have a sale or something like that so you're the first one to find out i just want to say thank you to everybody again for all of the support we're trying to get out orders as fast as possible and um i'm even out in the warehouse helping jiggy build jigs and and egg sink and stuff like that but if you guys are looking for a boat service anything else like that hit up our guys at sunray marine they have they have uh they have inventory on the lot they have engines in stock they have parts to do your service they're very quick if you call and if it's a just a regular service they can ha have you in and out in 48 hours so definitely touch base with them if you're looking for service on your boat or if you're looking for a new boat i know we're coming into the holidays but hey maybe that wife out there will be nice and buy your husband a boat i don't know it's 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 a shot right guys but anyway uh again all of our supporters and sponsors reef and reel uh the mortgage fisherman ian anderson if you're looking for a mortgage definitely hit him up we have eli with high sources uh building services they do everything from from cleaning to building houses i was shocked so if if you guys are interested in any of our sponsors levin law group if you need a lawyer unfortunately if you do need a lawyer they're the ones to touch base with they they cover all kinds of different areas of law so 11 law group definitely touch base with them again thank you so much to everybody for all of the support we really appreciate it fish more catch more and we'll see you on the flip side